decor video and I had a lot of fun making it so please let me know if you guys like it in the comments down below and let me know if you would like it if I did more DIY videos. Um, I'm not a very crafty person but I love decorating my house and I love cute things and I love Pinterest and watching other DIY videos. So I feel like I'm kind of creative and I don't know, it was really fun trying to think of fun things to do for this video and I'm also kind of redoing my room. Um, I'm trying to change it more into gold and white so it was kind of fun trying to find things to go with the new theme of my room. So yeah, like I said, I had a lot of fun doing this so please let me know if you guys like watching these kinds of videos. And if you recreate any of these DIY ideas, please send me a picture on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I have all my links down below. And yeah, everything I got is actually from Michaels. So all these projects were really inexpensive and really easy to do and really fun and really cute. So yeah, here they are. Okay, so the first thing we're going to make today are these gold glitter mason jars. I'm just really into gold right now, but you can obviously choose whatever color you want to. So what you're going to need to make these are regular mason jars, spray paint in the color of your choice, glitter, painter's tape, mod podge, and a foam paintbrush. So to start we're going to place the mason jars upside down and spray paint them until they are completely opaque. Then we're going to let them sit like this and let them dry overnight. Then in the morning we're going to take our painter's tape and mark off where we want the glitter to start. I just decided to put my tape in the middle of the mason jar. And then I'm dumping my glitter out on a paper plate and then applying the Mod Podge with a foam brush below the painter's tape. Then quickly before the glue dries, I am dabbing the jar in the glitter until I can't see any of the glue. And then, I'm just going to let those sit and dry overnight again. And then in the morning, you have super cute color and glitter mason jars that you can use as a pencil cup to hold your makeup brushes or like a little flower vase like I am. This next project is super, super easy. I found these giant clothespins at Michael's and since I already had the gold spray paint, I decided to glam them up a bit. So I'm just spray painting them, but a quick tip is to paint the inside first and then the outside and don't forget all four sides. And then just let them sit and dry overnight. And then I got some of my Instagram photos printed on a website called Printstagram I think. And then I just decided to place some of those in the clothes pins and I think they look super cute and it'd be cute to place on your dresser or your jewelry table. Next is this cool deer head wall decor. I saw something like this on Pinterest and I fell in love with it so I decided to recreate it. What you need for this is a blank white canvas, a stencil of a deer head or whatever shape you want, tape, scissors, a pencil, a felt tip marker, a foam brush, Elmer's glue, and glitter. So the first thing you're going to do is cut out your stencil, and I will put a link to this exact stencil in the description box. This was definitely the most time consuming part of this project, but once you do that, the rest is really easy. Once you decide where you want the deer head to be on your canvas, um, you're going to place some scotch tape on the back so it doesn't move while you're tracing. Then take a pencil and trace the edges. I decided to then go along the line of the pencil with a gold sharpie that way in case the line showed a little bit, it would match the glitter. Then I took my foam brush and Elmer's glue and started painting in the shape of the deer with the glue. And I actually found that applying the glue with the bottle was actually better on the sharp edges. And then I just decided to dump the glitter on the glue in small sections so that the glue didn't dry. But yeah, that's all you do. You just place the glue, dump the glitter, and remove the excess. So that's it for this one, and I think it looks really cool and adds a cool feminine touch to the deer head trend.
Okay, now we've all seen these framed chalkboards, but I've never made one myself, so I thought I would try it and show you guys how it turned out. So all you need is a frame of your choice, a foam paintbrush, and chalkboard paint. That was literally 79 cents at Michael's. I don't know why I haven't made any chalkboards before. It's so easy and so cheap. So all you need to do is take out the glass from the frame and then paint two layers of chalkboard paint on with the foam brush. One layer of horizontal strokes and one layer of vertical strokes. Then just let the glass sit overnight and dry. In the morning when all the paint is dry, take a piece of chalk and rub it over the chalkboard. I think this just gives it a chalkboard finish, but I'm not really sure why you do it. I just read somewhere that that's what you're supposed to do, so I figured why not do it. And then you just put the glass back in the frame and you have your very own super cute chalkboard frame. And I used chalkboard markers that are really cool to use on a normal chalkboard, but I wouldn't actually recommend them on a chalkboard like this that's made from chalkboard paint because when I rubbed off the marker with a wet towel like you're supposed to, it actually took off some of the chalkboard paint with it. So I would just stick to regular chalk with these kind of chalkboards. But anyways, those are all four of my DIY room decor projects today. I hope you liked them. Alright guys, that's my video. I hope you liked it. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. And if you would like me to do more DIY videos, please make sure you tell me in the comments down below. And if you guys would like me to do a room tour video once I'm done redecorating everything, give this video a thumbs up so I know you guys like room videos. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!